On a dark, cold winter night in 1959, a group of nine experienced hikers ventured into the Ural Mountains of Russia, aiming for the route known as Dead Mountain. What started as an adventure quickly turned into one of the world's greatest unsolved mysteries, the Dyatlov Pass incident. And 60 years later, we're still asking, what really happened? In January 1959, a group of nine Soviet hikers, led by Igor Dyatlov, set out on what was meant to be a difficult but manageable expedition to reach the summit of Mount Otorten. They were all experienced skiers and hikers, well prepared for the challenging journey through sub-zero temperatures. Their plan? To document their journey, reach the summit, and return. But they never came back. In early February, when the group missed their scheduled check-in, family members raised the alarm. Soon, a search party was assembled. What they found shocked even the most seasoned rescue workers and left investigators puzzled ever since. On February 26th, rescuers discovered the group's tent half buried in snow. But something was off. It had been cut open from the inside as if the hikers had been desperate to escape. Even more puzzling, their belongings were still there. Their boots, their jackets, food supplies, everything you need to survive a night in the mountains was left behind. This wasn't just an abandoned campsite. It looked like they fled in sheer terror. The first bodies were found not far from the tent, near the edge of a forest. They were wearing only their undergarments lying barefoot in the snow, with no apparent injuries. Two of them were found near the remains of a small fire, possibly trying to stay warm. But the strangest discoveries were yet to come. Over the next few days, more bodies were found scattered around the area. And here's where things get really strange. Some of the hikers had fatal injuries, including fractured skulls and broken ribs. Injuries that experts later said would be comparable to a high-speed car crash. But there was no evidence of external trauma on their bodies. And here's the kicker. Some of the bodies were found with radiation on their clothes. To this day, nobody knows exactly what happened to the Dyatlov group, but theories range from the plausible to the downright bizarre. Let's start with the obvious. Theory one, avalanche. The avalanche theory suggests that the group panicked, cut their way out of their tent to try and escape the snow. But the lack of typical avalanche patterns and debris near their tents weakens this theory. So what else? Theory two, military testing. Another theory involves Soviet military tests in the area. Some believe that the hikers stumbled upon a secret experiment involving parachute mines or other explosive devices. The force of these explosions could account for the massive internal traumas. Theory three, infrasound. And then there's infrasound theory, which suggests that strong winds hitting the mountains created low frequency sound waves that triggered panic, disorientation, and perhaps even hallucinations. Imagine hearing a sound so unnerving that it sends you into a frenzy, making you run out into the freezing night. Theory four, Yeti attack. Finally, for those who like more fantastical explanations, there's a Yeti theory. According to this idea, a creature living in the mountains confronted the group terrifying them enough to make them flee. But despite how intriguing it sounds, there's no hard evidence for a Yeti encounter. More than 60 years later, the Dyatlov Pass incident remains one of the most perplexing mysteries in history. New investigations in recent years have tried to answer lingering questions, with some researchers leaning towards natural causes like an avalanche, while others are convinced we'll never know the full story. Drop your theories in the comments below. Was it just a freak accident? 
Or is there more to this story that we're not being told? The mystery of the Dyatlov Pass isn't just a story from the past. It's a reminder of how little we sometimes understand about the world around us. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more mysteries and unsolved cases, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future uploads. Until then, stay curious.